What's happening guys? Hope everyone's doing well. Today we're doing something that I've been wanting to do for a little while now and I just haven't gotten around to it. But today we are going to be debadging my E92. So the two badges that I'm definitely taking off and that will definitely stay off of the car are the two X-Drive badges on the front fenders. They're right next to the side indicators. Um, the rear wheel drive cars don't have any badges there. I think the 335 IS is actually have a 335 IS badge there. But on my car, I don't want anything there. I don't like the X-Drive badges. So we're gonna take those off. Those are definitely gonna stay off. I'm also gonna be taking off the 335 badge on the back of the car, on the trunk. Um, that might be a little bit of a controversial one. I wanna take it off. I wanna see how it looks without the badge on there. And I'm gonna run that for a little while. I kinda like the really clean badgeless look. So I think that might do it for me. I think that might be good and I think I might keep it that way. But if I decide that I do wanna end up putting a 335 badge back on the trunk, then I will probably go with a black badge instead of the, uh, the chrome that's on there. On my car, I have the black rims, I have the black trim around the windows and all that sort of stuff. So if I do put the badge back on, it'll go back on black so it can match all that other stuff. But yeah, we're gonna get into this today. We're gonna see how it works. I think it should be relatively easy to do. With this sort of thing, it kind of depends on how old the car is, the, if, whether it's sat outside in the sun, in the weather, all seasons, that sort of stuff, because the glue that holds those badges onto the car will get tougher and harden over time. It's gonna be interesting to see how easily this glue comes off. And I'll show you right now what I'm working with to be able to do that. So here's what I'm gonna be end up doing here. I have my girlfriend's hair dryer right here. That's gonna be step number one. We're gonna take that hair dryer and we are going to heat up the badges, heat up that glue, get it as soft and gooey as possible. And then we're gonna take, I have a bunch of dental floss right here. We're gonna take that dental floss and I'll show you, we'll cut the badge off from the back, cut through that glue with the floss. Hopefully that's strong enough. If that doesn't do it for me, I'm gonna have to run out and go get some uh, fishing line that might be a little bit stronger, but I'm hoping that'll work. After I cut those badges off, it's gonna be a matter of just using my fingers, continuing to heat it up with that, with that hair dryer, and using my fingers to just slowly like get that glue off of there. They do make a, like a, a wheel that you can put on a drill that's supposed to take off like adhesives and stuff like that off your paint and it's not supposed to scratch it that much. I don't really trust those things. Um, I, th I think to a certain extent, it definitely is scratching up your clear coat on your paint. So I'm gonna stay away from that. I'm gonna do a little bit more of the time intensive, a little bit more labor intensive process. I'm just with my fingernail, heating it up, going through, scraping it off. And once I get most of it off, I'm hoping that I can go through with the detail spray and I have a clay mitt here and um, whatever residue is left on there at that point, hopefully the clay mitt can take it off once I've gotten the majority off with just my fingers. I also have some isopropyl here to help just kind of clean up the area for myself. All right, so we're starting on the rear trunk on the 335 badge. Let's heat it up and we'll see how it goes. So when I first started out here, I was heating up the whole badge, but I think now I'm actually gonna go one by one, number by number, and I'll start with the eye, see what happens there first. Hopefully that heated it up enough. That was probably just over a minute of heating it up, uh, but we'll see how, much, how soft that glue is. I'm gonna break out the floss now. All right, we got me a good piece of floss, wrapped it around my fingers, and we're just gonna saw through this. Oh, this is coming off really easy, actually. Look at that. Very easy. Nice. Maybe, maybe we could get the five as well. See how soft this is. Oh yeah. This is working really well actually. Maybe we could do the whole thing one shot here. Yeah. All right, new piece of floss. Just like that, too easy. All right, I shouldn't speak too soon about being easy because the hardest part is gonna be getting the rest of this adhesive residue off, but it looks pretty fresh. It doesn't look like it's too hard or caked up on this car, so I don't think it'll be too bad. I'm gonna keep heating it up with the blow dryer and just work it off with my finger. All right guys, this is coming off really well. It's coming off easier than I was expecting it was going to. With a little bit of heat, just my finger, a little bit of nail, it's coming off really, really well. You might be able to see in here just kind of like a faint outline of the letter I. There's just a small amount of adhesive left on there. I'm gonna leave that for now, let it cool off a little bit, 
not push too much into the paint. And I'm hoping that a little bit later between my finger and the clay mitt, I'm gonna be able to get the rest of this residue off. Well, let's slowly work through the rest of this adhesive and we'll get this whole thing cleaned up. All right guys, that's first pass with my finger done, trying to get as much of that adhesive off as possible. And as you can see, a good majority of it came off, but there is still a good amount of residue here. I was finding that the best way to approach it was just with your finger, like slowly push in, roll over the adhesive, it kind of balls up and rolls off, and that was the best way to do it versus using your fingernail. So we still gotta get that off, and the game plan is probably gonna be try a little bit more with my finger, get a little bit more of that off, and then we'll break out the clay mitt, and we'll see how that works. So guys, I just put some isopropyl alcohol on this microfiber towel, and it's actually taking off. It's kind of dissolving a good amount of this residue on here. I don't even know if I'm gonna need the clay bar really to get most of this. This is working well. Nice. I'm surprised how much came off with just the isopropyl, but I'm going to throw the clay bar on there as well, get some more. There's just like a, you can't even really see it very much at this point, but you can feel a little bit on there. So I'm going to get the clay bar for that and we'll see what happens. Check it out, guys. We're pretty much done. I think this is about as good as I'm going to be able to get it with what I got here with me today. I don't know if you're going to be able to see on the camera, but it, I mean, it's really pretty much completely off. And honestly, with my fingers, I can't even feel anything that's left on there. But again, I don't know if it'll show up on camera. Very, very slightly, I can see if I look really closely, a faint, faint outline of each of the numbers. And I think that's really only gonna come off once I polish the car. For what I have with me today, this is gonna be the end product, kind of the end result. And really, I'm very happy with the way this came out. This came off easier than I expected it to come off of this car. I thought since the car was a little bit older, the glue would be a little bit older, a little bit harder to get off. But with that hair dryer, the floss cut through relatively easily without breaking too much. It came off really well, and again, just kind of rolling off the rest of the adhesive with my finger, working at it again. That isopropyl really did take off a good amount of the, the stickiness and some of the clumps, and then the clay bar kind of finished it up pretty well, and it, it came out great. So I'm gonna quickly do the fenders with the X-Drive badges. I'm not, probably not gonna film that just because you guys already saw the process here, but I will show you the finished product in just a second. And with that, guys, the car has been officially fully debadged. You guys already saw the back with the 335 taken off, but now check it out. Out. We have taken off the X-Drive badges off of the fenders as well. You can see both sides. Here's the passenger side completely taken off. So this was sitting right here before and now it's gone. Looks way better. These X-Drive badges were actually a lot easier to take off than the trunk badges, the 335 that was on the trunk. Originally, I thought this one was gonna be harder to take off because as you could tell, it's just a lot more adhesive on the back of this because it's thicker, it's a bigger piece but that actually ended up working in my favor because if you heat it up enough, you're gonna able to cut through it with the, uh, the floss or the fishing line, whatever you're using. You're able to cut through the glue pretty easily to get the badge off in the first place. And then once you have the badge off and you're trying to get whatever adhesive is left over on the paint off of the car, it's a lot easier to have a thicker, wider piece of adhesive that you're trying to work off with your thumb or whatever. It's a lot easier when it's thicker like this to be able to work that off in one large piece instead of having a whole bunch of small ones scattered around the whole paint. I also found that because on the trunk they're numbers and then the eye obviously a letter and they're a lot smaller they have a lot more edges and that's where a lot of the dirt gets trapped around those edges of the badges um, that's where you have to spend the most time trying to get it up so you can't see it anymore so with a piece like this you have a lot less edges a lot less stuff that you have to work with these fenders came out really really well it's gonna be hard to see on camera but regardless it's virtually impossible on the fenders to tell that anything was there they cleaned up really great with that that isopropyl and then also going through with the clay mitt. All the adhesive came off really easily and I was pretty impressed. It didn't take much time at all to do these. After doing the fenders that went really easily and really quickly, I came back to the trunk and reassessed kind of the what was left over from 
the numbers that were on the trunk here. I came through again and just with that isopropyl and with my finger kind of continued to just push that glue around as much as I could, ball it up in little pieces and slowly move it off. And I got even more off here. And again, it's not gonna show up on camera, but there is a very, very, very faint outline of where those letters used to be that I can just barely see with my eye. But on camera, you're probably not gonna be able to see it. And really, if you, unless you were looking for it, you would have no idea that it's there. So I don't know about you guys, but I am loving the way that this car looks with no badges on it, completely debadged. Like I said before, those fender badges, those are staying off, no question about it. The car looks way cleaner on the side profile without having those on there. I don't need those X drive badges on. And then the back, I was kind of torn. I was thinking maybe I'll put the, the black 335i on the back here. I don't know, at this point, I'm really liking the way it looks. I think it looks super, super clean, which is nothing on the back at all. So you guys let me know what you think about the back of the car here with no badges on it at all. I wanna hear what you guys think, what your opinions on debadging the back is. I'm kinda liking it right now, so we'll see if I go and, and put some black badges on there, but uh, let me know your thoughts and we'll go from there. But that's gonna be it for now, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hope this is helpful if you're thinking of doing this to your car, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.